before even starting today, we're going to need some power-ups. So let's take 3% more experience per rank and bigger area of attack by 10%. And let's actually give our item pickup range a bigger radius. And since we can still afford it, projectiles move 10% faster. Then we're going to start as the old man Poe again because garlic. And then because I'm grossly overconfident, we're going to start in the green acres. Enemy health plus 50%. Let's make it look easy. These are bats and that's a ghost bomb. Uh, the garlic should hopefully uh, carry me through these to start. We're going to get a lot of experience at the very least. And we can already get better garlic. The better garlic is kind of key to doing this probably because these are stumps, not bats, and they have extra health. Genocide is the name of the game. You need to walk towards them. We're definitely going to go with the Pichone today, whatever it's called, because that is incredibly powerful in its ultimate form. We might in fact need it. And honestly, if it wasn't for those power-ups we bought along the way, I don't know if we'd get, get away with this. The garlic probably wouldn't be enough to kill these guys initially. And I'm a little saddened by the lack of idiots that are spawning already. We're a minute in, but I need more things to kill. Okay, there we go. Uh, the blue bat especially needs to die because he's going to drop me a power-up. Hopefully one of the ones I want. I do also pretty badly need an attack that's not the peach one right now, um, because the garlic is the only thing attacking near me and that's kind of scary. We could try the knife today, the ultimate version of the knife. It's going to take a little while to get there, but we'll get there. But right now we walk in circles murdering things. And I do need to be very careful not to get hit by things. This old man doesn't have a lot of health, probably because he's old. Since the armor and the lightning wing don't have any evolution as far as I know, we're going to use the cross. That's going to help us do damage now, but it'll also evolve into something pretty good down the road. We still need to kill that blue bat, and these guys are making me a little nervous. I wasn't sure I'd be able to tear through them with the garlic. Luckily I can, and that's just really easy experience. They basically bring it straight to me. Uh, there's definitely lots of good ones here. I understand the King Bible is pretty good, uh, so we'll maybe start with that and get it gets upgraded for him if we can. Probably should have checked first. Uh, according to the comments, the King Bible acts kind of like the garlic, but better version of it down the road. Uh, for now, I'm just going to upgrade the Pichone, because that's probably going to be our strongest thing. We got a red gem from the blue bat, finally. It didn't give us a power-up, but that's okay, because it gave us lots of experience, and that way I get to pick my power-up. So the cross I have needs the clover to hit its ultimate form, so we've already got that going. We just need to get the cross to level 8 or better then. And I'm going to do my best right now to just continue killing these bats and pick up all the blue gems I possibly can. I do think I also want the axe though, because that combined with the candelabrador is one of my favorites, and it saved me more than a few times. And we just need more damage going up near my player right now. Starting to get a little bit worried about our current uh, trajectory. And um, there's a lot of uh, mummies coming toward me right now, so I'm going to have to be pretty careful not to get touched by these, because they're actually pretty strong. There's a candelabrador, so we're going to take that right away. So we're already pretty set up to get a few good uh, ultimate weapons down the road. And my Pichon thing, when it does go off and hit things, it absolutely melts. So I just need to give it a bigger area. Uh, I just got the frozen effect thing on the enemy, so I'm going to try and steer my thing kind of through them. He didn't fire at that point. That would have been good because he could have killed a lot of them. But I'll take the experience for now. Then we're going to upgrade the knife because we're going to need that to get up there. Uh, here's a fire peanut, so that's actually going to help in a big way. I don't know the technical name for that. Uh, probably didn't mean to pick that up because I don't know what it's about to give me. This might, might work against us. We got a clover, which we already had, so that's okay. That's basically just a free upgrade. So now we have better luck. Um, I'm still not entirely sure how luck factors in in this game. I think it's just the better drops that things drop. Uh, we're going to go better weapon cooldown. And then our flamethrower is over, so we're going to have to kind of fight our way out of this little pickle. And we've got some viruses floating by. And more of these idiots. But that was the five minute wave, so we're still doing okay. We just need to get something up to level 8, and the cross is on its way. We'll see what else we can do. There's also some health and food over this way, but I don't really need to pick that up. I like to save that for a rainy day. Getting lots of good experience, plus we do get that extra 3% thanks to that upgrade we got. This picked up a attract orb thing, so everything's coming in. Uh, we maybe do the King Bible right now. Anytime I can upgrade a physical weapon, I will over the uh, other ones, because they're the ones that are going to turn into something good. These ninja looking guys are pretty strong though, and that's a bit of a concern. I need to manage to find some more damage. But I think I might use one of my oddball slots, if I do actually have an oddball slot to get more damage. Uh, I guess just empty tome for now. That does equate to more damage if my things can be firing that much more often. Uh, dummy over here dropped a chest. I think I'm actually going to grab that just because the damage. I need more damage one way or another. Oh, and it's a big chest. So we got, yeah, there's a garlic upgrade, a cross upgrade, and an axe upgrade. We haven't been finding a lot of the axes so far, but it is one of my favorites. So let's just go ahead and walk out of the damage for a second and then enjoy our newfound damage. 
And we're getting the ghosts to show up too. Uh, they basically pop like popcorn generally. They're a little bit stronger now, but I'm actually happy they're here because we can kill them quickly. So it's either upgrade the axe or get spinach, which increases base damage by 10%, which is huge overall. And I think we still got the spaces we need. I think I'm going to just have to risk it. I would like to start getting some things for other things, but I think I need that extra 10% damage. I think it's going to make a big difference, especially considering by the end, it's going to give us an extra 70 or 80% damage. And any time in life you can get an extra 70 or 80% anything, you should probably do it. That's a lot of everything. Experience is starting to come in pretty hard now, so we'll get another, uh, we're just going to take more base damage. That's going to give us an extra 20% for now. That should be enough. We got to get back to upgrading our actual weapons, though. We need the evolved forms to be able to complete this. Okay, here comes a wave to try and trap us, so we're going to march straight through that right away uh, and kind of keep moving a little bit. We can deal with the enemies, but not if they're too tightly around us. And we need to keep the bulk of them above us so our axes can go to work too. The garlic is still doing quite a bit of damage uh, amongst other things, but I definitely still need to be careful how I handle all this. The axes will fall down into the group too, but they're not penetrating very deeply. We need more penetration. But there is a nice orb that's going to get me a nice level so we can upgrade probably the Pichon because we need to get something above level like 2. So the King Bible is also going to level up. That's going to help do a lot of damage around me. You can already see the difference it's doing. Especially that Pichon. Oh, I didn't realize that was a boss. I walked straight into him. Uh, I'm actually pretty lucky that didn't kill me. Because the bosses have a way of doing that basically instantly. But you can already see the difference uh, whatever we just did is making. Oh, and it's already uh, time for this guy. All right, well, we're just going to walk through the flowers. As someone in the comments pointed out, you can just walk through them. They don't really do anything. We are going to try and kill the Praying Mantis, though, because I think he's going to come with some good treasure. It's already been 10 minutes. Uh, I'm not going to go too far down, though. I want to stay by all the gems we got up here. Because I'm quite sure, yep, there's a lot of them lying around. So let's get the better knife. I don't know if we can get the ultimate version of that. I don't know if we got all the parts we need to be able to do that. I'm going to pick that up now. We're going to pick up all of this. And another level up already. Oh, we could get a duplicator. That instantly gets you so much more powerful. Yeah, we're going to do the duplicator right now. That's just going to... I don't know what that increases my damage by, but it's a lot instantly. Like, look at all the axes. Look at all the Pichon things going out. Oh, one thing we need actually is the uh, pair for the Pichon. I can't remember what it's called, but we don't have it yet. And we need that. Uh, this is starting to get a little tense. There's a lot of these things coming at me and they're actually able to touch me because they have kind of quick movement speed. They managed to get through my damage before. So let's go for a little walk. Wow, look at the King Bibles. They just swirl around me. If I get that leveled up, that would be great. Also half accidentally walked into a chest. Uh, so this could actually kind of screw my run up a little bit. So let's hope it gives us like three. Yeah, that's all fine. That's just straight up extra stuff for us without taking up a slot there we go there's a little more damage for sure so we're just gonna keep fighting through this and we gotta keep grabbing those upgrades there we go the axis three the pichon is now level five won't be too long before we get it to level eight uh we still need its pair though and my damage is still kind of going in inconsistent bursts so i'm pretty vulnerable in between those bursts i really need to get some attack speed up uh, especially because we have the werewolves coming in now the werewolves are pretty strong but then again, when aren't werewolves a problem? Another level up. Uh, I think I'm actually just going to put the damage up here. I could put the garlic up, but I don't think the garlic's going to do enough at this point to make a difference. I think I need to upgrade other things. But I seem to be okay as long as I keep making these uh, fairly tight little circles. I have a clear path through and I can kill everything in the middle and pick up enough of what I need to pick up. I'm also going to grab that, which just kills everything on screen apparently. And that's fine by me. That's kind of scary. That's also kind of scary. I just don't like how they push their werewolves toward me. Anything else is probably fine. There we go. Now I can sit here and just enjoy some good old-fashioned damage for a sec. I'm going to try and steer my big circle into the mantis. And it didn't fire. But we take the better cross. And this is also scary. But we're just kind of going to go for it. And hopefully nothing touches me too much. When I do get a big dense cluster like that though. And I can manage to get the Pichon into it. Uh, it does a ton of damage though. And look at all the red gems. Oh, and there's an attract orb up there. So let's do the King Bible again and go straight for this because this will get us an insta level up. I'm pretty sure of that. And it did, so we're going to get empty tomes. So we're going to fix the cooldowns. We're going to get another level up for the Pichon again. Still not getting the, the, the pair for it, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually. We still have an open slot. And there's also a glowy bat here to give us a reward should we manage to kill it. We will. We just don't have that much control over what we're attacking currently. There's a chest down there. Let's grab that while we're at it. We're going to have to start uh, taking upgrades as they come. 
I probably should be working on my axe more so, but there's a Bible upgrade, so I'll take that. Uh, so now we're kind of in a tricky spot. Well, we'll take the King Bible for now. I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty good, whether or not we get its evolved form. We do have extra damage and attack speed, so I think that's going to help. We are clearing out a pretty big cluster around us. We don't have anything particularly strong on the screen, but that's okay. I'm going to sit right here until 15 minutes, because then I think I can eliminate the boss that's about to spawn with the fire peanut. So there we go, we're going to upgrade the knife. Uh, I didn't mean to pick that up already. Okay, what's spawning at 15 minutes? Can we kill it? Where is it? Yeah, there we go. Die, 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 die. Did it work? We're not getting very good luck with what we can get. So let's just get the base area up by 10%. Uh, then we're going to do the axe. Uh, I don't know if we can actually even get the right parts we need now. It's just not giving us the option anymore. But look at all that experience. We're going to upgrade our knives. We're eventually going to kill the stupid. There we go. Medusa's dead. I found that thing at a very good time. I was hoping for a super chest, but I'll take a single, I guess. And our cross is upgraded. So it's now a level 6 cross, which is certainly better than a level 5 cross. And we've got lots of gems, especially the red ones. I don't really know what's doing the majority of my damage right now, but the Bible's got to be up there. It keeps doing that nice circle around me. The garlic might be finishing things off, but I doubt it's really that strong. So let's turn our luck up, because we're going to need it. Definitely no shortage of experience coming our way as well. But there's so many enemies now that it's only going to take a few to break through to absolutely destroy me. We're going to take the cross because we're going to be very close to its ultimate version. There's the cross uh, up another level. That's going to tear through enemies. There's the red gem. There's lots of praying mantises, but just the little versions. I did see a glowy bat and we're probably going to try and kill it because I need a chest that's going to drop me. But while we're here, let's take more base damage. That's just raw damage is how we're going to get through this. Hopefully. Raw damage is how I think we're going to get through this. Does anybody see a glowy bat? There he is. He's down below, hiding amongst the gems. And we hit him with the Pichon, so that's good. We're going to try and get close to him to keep the damage in his face, because I really want his chest. Uh, as soon as I can get the uh, evolved version of a weapon, I'll be very happy. Which is right now. So now we're going to fire the big uh, sword instead of the cross, and that's going to do critical damage, and I think it's really big. Or at least it'll get bigger. Yeah, there it goes, so that's going to help in a big way. And it's got a big range. And I love that critical damage. It absolutely destroys everything. Okay, so now we get a chance to upgrade the King Bible to level 9. I don't think we picked up the right thing to get it to evolve, but that's okay because we're still going to have a level 9 King Bible, which is swirling around me like that basically consistently. And uh, it's doing a lot of damage while it's doing that. So let's start upgrading that axe as well because we know when it gets to uh, level 8, it turns into something amazing. And these zombies were, of course, a boss in earlier stages. Now they're pretty much all the enemies ever, and they have 50% more HP than they used to. Points like this are kind of relaxing because there's just less enemies to have to deal with, but then you know that you're not getting as much experience, and pretty soon you're going to be swarmed again, so you kind of consistently want idiots in your face because you just need that experience so badly. Just killed the bat. Uh, not sure if I have anything ready to upgrade yet. I'm going to try and get one more level before I pick up that chest, which shouldn't take more than a second, depending on what's about to happen. So there's a level up. We didn't really get anything amazing there, so let's just take more base damage. 10% damage on top of what I was already doing is going to make a difference, then we'll grab this. There's an upgrade for the axe. I'll absolutely take it. Alright, so now we got the extra axes. We got everything going pretty good. We are about to hit the 20 minute boss thing though, so that's going to be interesting. I think we're going to be okay though. We're doing some pretty good damage. Thanks largely to that spinach. I'm glad I picked that up. They're pushing everything into me. That's cheating. Okay, well, the bats just pushed everything into me, and I just didn't have a chance. Okay, this time, we're going to start with a different character. This is going to work better. We're going to unlock Gennaro. He starts with plus one projectiles and the knife. And we're back to these things already. Kind of forgot these existed. Um, I'm not really super set up to deal with these very well. But if we upgrade our fire wand, that might help. Uh, we'll be okay, but we got to be careful at this point, because I don't have a very broad area of attack, so they can slip through my uh, defenses. But the knives are going out pretty quick now, so they tend to clear a path in the direction I'm going. Kind of wish I didn't pick that up. Uh, luckily, they don't hit that hard, really. They do do some damage, but it's not that bad. As strange as that is to say, so I can touch them just a little. But I definitely gonna need some more levels up, because I'm not doing enough damage. We could do a duplicator. Do I do a duplicator? Yeah, we'll do a duplicator for now. We're gonna fire a lot of projectiles, but I still need to level them up a lot. Especially because we're getting into the werewolf zone, and this is where things get very hard very quickly, so 
Uh, I just fired a direct few flurries into a single werewolf. That didn't kill him, so the knives... We'll see how strong they're actually going to be. But we need their ultimate version, to be fair. They might turn into something absolutely amazing. Okay, that's fine. We're going to take the fire wand. Then I'm going to try and grab at least one of those chests if I can. If not, we'll just work our way in there a little bit. See, we're doing okay damage. Uh, I couldn't get the chest, though. Forgot I didn't have the extra range pickups. Uh, so this might not be great. Because I have high-speed werewolves, which is a bad thing for werewolves to be. Uh, yep, so they just got pushed right into me and killed me. I've started another run. I've been having good luck so far, but I also just found something new called the Pumarola. Character recovers 0.1 HP per second. And I accidentally just bought it. Uh, it is actually what pairs with garlic to make the ultimate form of garlic, which I ironically don't have this time. But other than that, we're doing okay this time. We got lots of damage going out. We're gonna have the axe, the fireball, the magic wand, and perhaps the knives. Definitely getting hit a lot more than I should be, and we're coming up to the 10 minute mark, so I'm hopefully gonna get that food, and we're gonna regroup a little bit before uh, dealing with all of this. There's another piece of food, so I'm definitely gonna pick that up before just straight up leaving that ring of doom, because there is too much to deal with there. But this will give me a second, they'll all kind of funnel out, and I can hopefully thin them up a little bit. The ghosts are just going to push everything around, and that's not going to work well for me. Next level, Fire Wand gets leveled up, so it's getting close to where it needs to be for its ultimate form. Um, I'm just really going to have to focus on grinding for a couple minutes. We got the skeletons to show up this time, which I don't know if that's good or bad. It doesn't feel very good at this particular moment, because that. But we're also going to freeze everything for a second. Um, I'm going to try and take advantage of this to just farm some experience as quick as I can. Because that's the only way we're going to get ahead. And uh, so far, that's working out not bad. Turns out this gets really hard when you don't really have that area of effect. Maybe the garlic is still needed. I can get the ultimate version of it now, so it could potentially help. Uh, we're gonna get the axes, because again, I can't get the ultimate version of the knives anyway. But we definitely want that attractor, whatever it's called. Give me that. Give me some level ups, please. So we're gonna get better axe. Uh, better axe. And better fire wand. Also better axe, so now we're in a pretty good position to be able to get some ultimate things and do some damage. I just need a treasure chest or two, which is where these idiots can come in handy. Perfect. Those skeletons. I was almost done to bring it to defeat, and we didn't get what we wanted. That'll help, but I wanted the uh, ultimate version of something rather than a magic wand projectile. And here's a freezy thing, so I can kind of uh, hopefully bring my damage down here a little bit and... Uh, okay, we're gonna maybe upgrade this extra damage, because I really need to thin things out every time I touch something. But I did want to give it that horde a little bit. I got a little, uh, anxious trying to get that, but we got our legendary axis now, so that's gonna do some big damage. I do need to get out of this little pickle I'm in, though, so... We're gonna move down here. Okay, I didn't take nearly as much damage as I thought I was about to. Those axes are gonna start going out, and those are gonna start doing some big damage to many different things. I guess here I'm just going to take the cross because it's going to do some damage and uh, it pairs with the clover which will give me extra luck so either way that's that's probably okay. Definitely still in a dangerous spot though with all these guys because we're not killing them as fast as I'd hoped so they're just kind of clumping up now. So I'm just going to try and stay mobile and we're going to circle back down in a sec to hopefully get some of that but this might also be a good item. Uh, it is at least a uh, three level chest so I'm going to get three items out of this. No we're going to get five items out of this. So we got two levels for our knife, a tome, the peachone, and the cross. So that's actually going to add a lot of damage to me. That's too many idiots. Can I get out of this? I don't know if I can get out of this. Help! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we're okay for a sec. Okay, I'm going to incinerate you and everyone else for a sec. Okay, I'm just going to incinerate everyone else for a sec. Okay, I need some power-ups pretty bad. Oh, this is getting difficult. Yikes. Okay. Um, I'm once again in the bat. 50% health is hard. And we're dead. Even with all those power-ups, we still died. We had the ultimate axe and a bunch of other things. The dagger. I, I can't start with knives. They're bad. 